Oh, wow. So it's been a productive day today, uh, prepping these pineapples for the freeze dryer. And luckily, earlier I had my mom. She came over and helped. So that definitely helped move things along. But it's been at least a couple of hours since we started doing this. And my mom has since left. Um, but I'm still cracking away at it. Almost done on the fifth tray, but I just wanted you guys to see this. You know, this is the part of the pineapple that is closest to the center, the rind, or whatever they call that. Um, and it's really hard and it's very fibrous. You want to cut that off. I've done pineapples a few times now, and I found that you get better results when you just Take the time to cut that off yeah it's a lot more labor intensive but the end result is you have pineapples that you really enjoy eating if you leave those on the pineapples will be really chewy it just changes the whole texture of them doing this i found that we get um, lighter more crunchy more airy pineapples that just basically melt in your mouth that fiber stuff is just really hard to, to get through so um we're almost done here. This tray is almost full. And these guys are about to go inside of the freeze dryer very shortly here. I've got it uh, pre-chilled for at least 15 minutes so it's ready for these trays. And uh, normally I mix different fruits. Like I'll do like a couple trays of pineapple, a couple trays of apples. But today is just all pineapple because um, I just love pineapple. And uh, I kind of got a little bit overly ambitious and opened up way more cans than we needed. Um, so I'm just gonna refrigerate those or freeze them until the next, um, till this batch is done and then I'll freeze dry those with, along with some uh, apples that I have. I think I might be able to fit, let me see, a few more in here, let's see. The pack's kinda tight. Last time I gave them a little more space. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference at all, but you know, I think I'll do a couple more you know, obviously with any run, you want to fit in as much as you can, maximize that space without ma without uh, sacrificing the quality. So hopefully this doesn't affect the quality of the outcome, that they'll still come out nice and airy and just as good as they did last time. I think I might have to fit a couple more. Might as well get them on in there. I don't think I'm going to be doing this for a while because I just don't have time to do this kind of stuff all the time. So as much as I love the freeze dryer, it's a labor of love and you got to be committed and you got to just set aside like a good solid few hours to throw stuff like this in there. You know, there's other things that are a lot faster, but this definitely, you got to just kind of set aside that extra time in your day. So, yeah, I think we've filled in all the gaps nicely. I might go get one more in there. Might as well. Okay, there, I think we are good. We're gonna start sending these out into the garage and um, I will update you guys on the end result, but this is gonna be so delicious. I, I really, I love the pineapples and bananas the most. I love this even more than the apples. Um, some people love the apples more, but I don't know, just something about the intensity of the flavors when you do pineapples and uh, bananas that I just love. And they're actually good if you eat them both together. It's like a tropical party. So, let's see, one more there. Oh, let's get one more there. I know I'm getting a little obsessive about this, but you don't understand. When you put this much work into doing something like this, you want to just maximize as much as you can because you don't want to bust out all this arrangement and trays and stuff again. You just want to, yeah, get as much as you can in. Oh, this tray, these trays over here look like they could fit a few more. So, you know what? Maybe we're doing a few more. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and strain this pan over here in an empty little container I have. Set that aside and we're just gonna back away with that. So let's put this aside over here. Bring us this tray over here. Oops, I gotta move. There's a pineapple tray on the side over here. Like that. Okay. So got a lot 
more space over here. And we're just gonna get all this in there. Okay. We're gonna waste any space. So let's get this. That one feels a little bit tough. Get that in there. Be quick with it. It's already like, oh my gosh, it's almost 6 p.m. I can't believe what time it is. Get in there. Yeah, thank goodness my mom was here earlier. She came over to meet the worms, to, to see the worms, and to see the new quail eggs that I'm trying to incubate. And then uh, she ended up helping me with a little bit of gardening in the back, a little weeding. Um, we've got those, I think they're called cat's tail uh, plants out there that we're going to eventually get rid of. But when they bloom, those, they look like cat's tails and they, they have spikes. They're real spiky and a long time ago, um, our dog Miles had a foot injury and his foot was really swollen. I didn't know what it was from. And I waited a few days, um, because I thought maybe he had just like maybe scratched it playing too rough with me. And I, I took him to the vet, and the vet right away said, oh, I know what's in there. It's a cat's tail or whatever. And, um, and he let me watch him perform the little minor surgery. And sure enough, that's what came out. So now I'm paranoid about May playing around in the backyard and stepping on one of those. Because last thing we need is another big fat vet bill since she's had sur surgery just three weeks ago to get rid of her uh, stones which they think the stones were related to stress because Miles and May ate the same exact diet and everything and he never got any stones. So she's a lot more like, um, she gets stressed out really easily or scared of things. Like when the groomers would come, she would shake uncontrollably where he didn't really care. So um, I could see how stress might have affected her differently um, than him. So okay, we got one more little pocket there. More the merrier. Let's get it in there. Knock it out. Because I do not want to be doing this again for a long time. Okay. So that's number three. We've got, let's see, this tray over here could probably fit a few more. Just get them in there nicely. Yeah, this is, it's really, really fun to do freeze drying. It's just, I, I, I have to admit, I, I dread the preparation, like doing all this. I just like the eating part, really. The results. I like, I like the end result, but I just, this part is a little bit, um, I'm not, oh, sh crap, that's going to make the floor so sticky. I need to clean that out real quick. Well, little Miss May gets thrown around in there, tracking all over the house. Oh, gosh, all over the place. I'll have to mop the house later. Okay. Man, this is messy. Yeah, this, uh, doing pineapple, you gotta be careful because this stuff, it's very, very sticky and it just, it gets everywhere and it makes a big mess and last thing I need is a sticky mess everywhere. Literally like a tiny drop hit my foot earlier and I kept wiping my toes and my feet and I just can't seem to completely get rid of that stickiness. I'm going to just go take a shower a little bit later but sorry I just don't want to get, don't want to risk this getting into everything and sticking. Okay. okay. All right, back to stuffing these trays. Get that on there. Yeah, I made a bunch of pineapple last time and I don't, I can't seem to find them anywhere. I mean, I gave some away, but I don't think I gave it all away. 
and I barely got to eat any. So I've been like craving these and uh, wanting to share them with friends and family and I haven't been able to. I haven't had any to give to anybody. I like to take up to work to let people try it. So um, in a couple of days, I'll have some to take to work with me. This will probably run for a little over 30 hours. It's probably longer than it needs to run. I don't have the cheat sheet. If somebody out there has a cheat sheet, please let me know. I don't know how. I haven't done enough research on how long pineapple and fruit in general needs to run. Um, I could do a better job at that, but I am spread so thin and I've got too much going on and I haven't been able to do very thorough research on that. So, um, so let's see, I think, can we fit some more over here? I might be able to fit some more over there. I'm just going to go ahead and chop these and then take this over there and fill that tray. But anyway, you guys get the point. Uh, I'll update you guys later on the, on the outcome of this. Thanks. Have a great day.